What's going on guys and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video where we are talking today about the newest jumper project that I'm going to be part of. Everything is going to be starting fresh in this immaculate, most beautiful city, base, kingdom thing inside of Rise of Kingdoms may be deserted for a brand new one. Yeah, guys, you heard that right. I've been talking to a bunch of friends of mine, kind of looking around the Discord servers, figuring out how I want to make content for you guys here for Rise of Kingdoms, because I really have been enjoying Rise of Kingdoms again. You guys know that I used to cover the game for years, really bring a ton of videos. I think I have over 300 videos on the channel, and I stopped for a while. I really focused heavily on Clash of Clans, but I, I want to bring it back. So we've done so, and I did it on my main account right here. Now, the problem with this account is it was kind of neglected for a long time. I've upgraded commanders that are maybe not even worth it anymore, and I'm missing a whole bunch of them as well, as you can see. Many, many are missing. So I was thinking, you know, we have the big boys. We have the Chiss schools who are making all that high-level Rise of Kingdoms content, but... You know what's lacking? Someone that's just sitting around, like myself, learning, playing a free-to-play account, and just straight up having fun in the game. So I think that's going to be my approach to my up-and-coming Rise of Kingdoms videos. With that being said, we do have a jumper project that I'm going to be participating in. You can see all the details right here and right here as well. We have two of them, but it is all for the same jumper. Why don't you guys take a look at that information? Because maybe you'll want to join me with this amazing group and uh, be part of this jump. Funny thing is, I went over to Chiskul's server and uh, I looked into his jumper ads group. There were literally hundreds of them. For some reason, this one stuck out to me and I reached out found out that they were casual, fun, take the game seriously, but want to have fun. And also, some of these people actually live near me in real life, which is pretty darn cool. I was set on joining this jumper group. The jump is coming soon, so in a very soon video, you're gonna be seeing me creating a brand new account for this jump. So let's talk about some of the choices that I need to make so that I could jump most effectively. Now guys, if you've been enjoying these Rise of Kingdoms videos, you need to let me know so that I know to continue making them. The best way to do that is to, in the comment section below, type on in more Rise of Kingdoms. And also, throw a thumbs up in the video. That lets me know that you're enjoying the content, that you want more of it, and I promise you I will listen. While you're there, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. You don't want to miss out on this greatness, this great sauce. It's amazing. All right, first things first, on my main account right here, I'm playing as Germany, which is great. I like that you get the action point recovery. I like that cavalry has some good stuff as well, and my training speed for troops is 5% faster. That's really good. But remember, I'm going to be playing a free-to-play account, so I think I really am only going to have two choices. Now, remember, I have done this before, quite a bit ago. I think my first choice is going to you have to be either Britain or I can get myself some Boudicca, increase archer attack by 5%, troop training by 5%, and ally garrison capacity by 20%. She's just really good at farming those barbarians. So that's a reason why you would want Boudicca. That's what I did on my last jump, but I found myself quickly putting Boudicca aside and using other things or other heroes or commanders like Lohar and uh, like Ethelflaed. I used them more than I used Boudicca. So I'm actually not going to go with Britain. No, I'm gonna be going with China instead because I want Sun Tzu. I want the area of effect damage, that splash damage, and I also wanna set him up on my garrison. He's a great garrison commander, and if I've learned anything in Rise of Kingdoms, it is you better be able to protect yourself or else you're gonna be looted, and that feels bad, man. Being on fire, going on fire, going ablaze! feels awful. It really does. So with that said, the jump will consist of me coming through as China. With Sun Tzu, increasing my troop defense by 3%, action point recovery by 5%, and building speed by 5%. So I'm not really getting any buff to a particular troop itself, but we are going to get that special unit, the Chu Ko Nu. It's an archer unit. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. So what does that mean for my main account? I mean, we do have a max level account right here. We're in Kingdom 3. We've been around here for a long time. Pretty veteran over here with the people that I'm playing with as well. So what are we going to do with this? Well, 
I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep it as a casual one that I may play later on. Ooh, stone production, you know we're about to gather that right here. And what is jumping? Should I have, should I have said that in the beginning of the video? I possibly should have, but jumping is when you're starting a brand new account, you start in a certain server, and then you kind of get as progress as much as you can in the first week's time before your beginner teleport runs out, and then you take your account and move it to a newer a newer server where you can then have a small advantage over your opponents. Typically, you're going to like to go on over there with at least 1 million, maybe even sometimes up to 2 million in power after a week of grinding, which is giving you a head start over everyone else that isn't also a jumper inside of that server. On top of that, you have an organized group of people that are ready to rock, that already have um, relationships with other people that are going to be inside of that server, and it's just a really good thing to have a server that's going to be working well together mutually. I would love to be inside of a friendly server, one that obviously is going to have, you know, participate in the events and attack one another and stuff when it's when it's for the events, according to the, the kingdom rules, of course. But then we're going to be ready for KVK. We're going to work well together. We're going to be well practiced together. Then KVK is going to be a lot of fun. That's the plan. At the end of the day, I will never be your hardcore grinder that's going to be inside of Rise of Kingdoms, your big spender that's going to be one of the strongest in the kingdom. That's just not how I'm going to play. I'm going to be playing this game for fun. I'm going to enjoy the journey of upgrades. And as I learn things because guys i definitely have stuff to learn in rise of kingdoms i am not at all trying to say that i am a professional at this point in time but i will learn and as i do i plan to bring you guys all that information as well with that being said if there's anything about jumpers that you want to share with me any information that you think is important for me to know why don't you guys go ahead right now and let me know in the comments section of this video so that uh, I can read through them and maybe even get some tips for myself and everyone else while well, they can get those tips too. So now a few commanders that I'm gonna work on really early because they're pretty easy to get. Well, one of them is going to be, of course, Constance because Constance, you can spend your sculptures on, you can get her upgraded very quickly and she could be a great gatherer for you inside of Rise of Kingdoms, especially as a new player. All you have to do is get your use your medals in the metal store. And of course, the legendary Ethelflaed, who could be one of your primary barbarian attackers as well inside of the game. You can get both of these commanders for free from the metal store, just from your grinding. Of course, this first one who we have, uh, Kusunoki, that one is going to change every single day. You also can do your refresh. It'll get you some new ones as well. But I really like the idea of getting Ethelflaed and Constance right off the bat. But let's actually go on over here and let's see, we're going to have Sun Tzu because from being China, you start out with Sun Tzu, which in my opinion is a great start. But we're going to be able to get all of these, like, you know, these green commanders. So one that I liked to upgrade really quickly for farming and gathering was Centuron. I always thought that he was really good for that purpose. Got to, I kind of spent a little bit on him in the beginning. Of course, we had Sarka as well. Another one that was really good with the gathering. Notice she has that gathering element and so does Centuron. When we come on over here, Dragon Lancer doesn't do much for us. And we had Gaius. He was okay for gathering as well, but we started to not really need him. So we didn't go as heavy. Notice, remember on my last jumper, I said that Boudicca was a big deal, but Boudicca really wasn't so relevant for me here. We did have the Constance here as well, again, on that gathering tip. Now, something that I'm going to miss is my Cleopatra. We have her rocking hard on that gathering. And, well... We're gonna we're gonna lose her and we are probably never gonna upgrade her to this level again because legendary sculptures spending them on a gatherer probably not the smartest thing to do i did it for a reason on my main account we don't need to get into that reason right now because it's not important not relevant so i guess what we have to do right now is we have to send out our gatherers because we don't have any out i am still going to do this account quite a bit but it's not going to be the primary focus of all of my content it's going to be more of a journey so that new players and people that are just into some more fun casual rise of kingdoms can follow along with and just basically have fun with me on the journey i will let you know this my editor yes i'm putting all the it's all on you brother they know it's in your hands. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Let's make them live up to it. Another thing that we're going to have to really grind is that expedition. Remember, the further you go on the expedition, the more of those daily medals you're going to get. Since I'm going to want to be upgrading my Constance and my Ethelflaed, I'm going to need to get as many daily medals as possible. So I'm going to want to, as quickly as I can, grind through the expedition. 
That is going to be a grind. But you want to know something else I'm going to miss? And it's not even that great right now, but I'm going to miss my VIP 11. VIP 11 was a very special spot for me in Rise of Kingdoms because every single day you get yourself an extra legendary sculpture and an extra golden key. In getting those every day, I was able to get the opportunities to get more commanders from those golden keys and the legendary sculptures every day. That's 365 legendary sculptures a year, which help you on the upgrades that you just don't get until you get to that VIP 11. So we're going to try and make our way there as quick as possible. But remember, guys, this account is going to be a free to play account. Now, as you guys could see, we did do a jumper before it got up to 2 million power and I was in Kingdom 821. That'll kind of tell you how long ago I did that. I want to say that was probably, I mean, we're coming up on a year ago that we did that jumper project. Kind of decided not to do it. This one here, Kingdom 3, that was, that was the OG account. That was where it all began and where we just ended up coming back to. But we are going to be creating a brand new account. It's going to be China with Sun Tzu leading the way. And I don't even know what kingdom it's going to be in. But again, the jumper information is all right here for you guys. If you want to get involved in the jump, get in touch via Discord and join me. How sick would it be to have you guys on live streams with me as well as in my videos, just doing things together, seeing your character, your in-game person be on my videos. Plus, I could ask you questions and you could help me. I will let you know the name of my new account as well, as well as the ID, because there's impersonators out there and I don't want you being fooled by an impersonator. You will know who I am, you will know the account name, and it will be known to all, I guess. Guys, I'm done. I'm out of here for today. I'm gonna be back with another Rise of Kingdoms video. If you wanna see more, you need to let me know in the comments below with the hashtag more Rise of Kingdoms. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you back with another video really soon. Make sure you're there. Best way to do it, subscribe, ring the bell. You know the drill. Now be good.